Okay, so I wanted to be a professional golfer. I wanted to compete against Tiger Woods. And uh, I dropped out of high school to pursue that and it never happened. So um, I ended up having young children and I thought I need to go back to school. So I went to night school, I went to TAFE and I did my year 11 and 12 and did my VCE. Um, and at the time, I remember thinking, I wanna do psychology or nutrition, wasn't quite sure. I ended up doing a bachelor degree in psychology at Deakin University. And it was fun, I, act, I, I enjoyed being a nerd. I also just loved psychology, it was really fascinating. Uh, I got a job as a research assistant in my honors year, and it was very much thinking about um, how can we improve treatment outcomes for people with PTSD or things like that, where I kind of saw, wow, we've learned all this stuff about how to understand human behavior. We can apply that in any setting. And so that's what got me all excited about behavior change outside the psychology space. space. And so I ended up reaching out to Behaviour Works. I can't remember how that happened, um, but I do remember my very first project was looking at illegal dumping in public spaces. This is amazing and I was so passionate at the time. I remember I went out to, I lived in Mornington Peninsula at the time, and I drove out to Sunshine to have a look at the intervention that was put in place to see if it was all getting done properly. On a Saturday, by the way, I packed the kids in the car, we all did that. So yeah, completely enthusiastic. Still enthusiastic, but I also know where my role, I can spend more time more efficiently. Since then, I have, um, I think I've done about 55 projects now along the journey, and uh, I'm interested by all of them. I think they're all interesting in the sense of, they come down to how do we influence people to do something that we kind of want them to do, essentially, but we have this lens of it's better for the community, that's why we wanted to do it. I think one of the challenges is we are really good at understanding what influences behavior because we've got a whole heap of researchers out there understanding theory and understanding um, you know, specific contexts. But what I think behavioral science can do is going back to where I think I had my first realization earlier on when I thought, this applies to everything, this psychology stuff. And I, I feel as though there's a lot more room to be had by people in public service that can actually apply the behavioral science knowledge um, at a level that's sufficient, that gets you across the line and go, yeah, I'm actually applying principles that are gonna likely work. Um, as opposed to, I think most people in the community itself do is they just rely on their assumptions of what they think influences behavior. And so I think in terms of behavioral science moving forward, um, let's give that knowledge in the hands of the people who are actually using it out in the ground. Um, it, it's getting well and done good research in by the academics, they know what's going on, um, but I, well, to a degree, but I feel like that lower level could be lifted up and that would have probably the biggest impact out of everything in terms of making the world a better place. It's about bang for your buck, in a sense, making sure that they've got enough that they can use in their everyday work that gets them across the line and improves things by even if it's one or two percentage points. You think about that on a global scale, that's massive. I think what happens with people is that we have this natural tendency to see things through our own eyes, obviously, um, but we have a narrow um, consideration of things that could be influencing people. And so a lot of people will realize, oh yeah, you know, you know, money, consequences, you know, but there's a whole range of different things that influences people. And if we just tick off the boxes and say, yes, I've considered that, I've considered habits, I've considered social norms, I've considered context, blah, blah, blah. Um, at least that way you've given a more round, round sort of view of the problem um, and that way you can actually solve it as opposed to just jumping in with your natural tendency of thinking, oh yes, I'm just motivated by X, Y, and Z. It's a bigger pie you can use.